We are canning pinto beans today. In the last video, I think it's the last video, I showed you how to cook pinto beans. Really simple. Today, we're doing canned pinto beans. It's delicious to have. You can do refried beans. You can do bean burritos. You can do just a pot of, of beans. I mean, I did these yesterday. They just look delicious to me. But it's such a convenient item to have, and it's easy to do, especially if you have the electric canner like I do. It's, it's so much fun. It's just so much fun. And it, it just gives you a satisfying feeling to can something and see it on your shelf. So today I'm going to show you how I can pinto beans. In the previous video where I showed how to cook pinto beans, I showed you how to pick through and before you wash them, pick through and make sure there's no rocks. I thought I would insert this video showing how I sort through my beans. So I put the uh, dry pinto beans on the parchment paper where I can see good. And then I just sort through with my fingers looking for rocks, sticks, anything else. And then I wash them really good. This may surprise you, but I've had two people tell me since watching my other video on cooking dry beans, and I'll put that link in the description box, that they had no idea you looked for rocks and sticks. They had no idea you washed these beans. Now, last night, I put my beans in a pot, covered them completely with water, maybe two inches above, and put the lid on it. Just let them soak overnight. This not only hydrates the beans, but it removes a lot of the gas. In this book, the ball book, it's on page 111, and right at the top of the page, you'll see it says beans and dried peas. That is what we're doing, and it's so easy. And y'all, let's not judge anybody that doesn't know these things. I'm sure I didn't know when I was younger. They soak for almost 24 hours. Teaching how to do these things, like sorting beans and washing them, is what this channel is all about. So I don't want to bore you with every step, but I also want everybody to be able to can pinto beans if they want to. I just want you to know that I'm, again, I've got the electric digital Presto canner. So it's um, very, it's, it's the same, yet it's different, stovetop. You don't have to babysit this canner. That's one good thing. And it tells you step by step what to do. It's great. Now you don't have to do this. Uh, I'm just doing it to speed up the process. If you just put cold water in the canner to fill it to the fill line, it's gonna take about 20 minutes. So I just speed up the process by warming my water in this uh, electric pot. and. I can't see the fill line here. Can't see. Oh, there it is. Okay, y'all, I get many comments on not wearing nice clothes when I work. Well, there's a reason why you don't wear nice clothes when you work. You're working. So, but we are fixing to go somewhere and I want to get this going and uh, get it to the cool. So now I'm pressing the timer and it tells you to set the timer for how long you are going to pressure can. I'm doing pints today. I did quartz yesterday. I did. I don't think I showed you any of that. Uh, I have. Uh, I pressed that. It says to insert jars. It tells you everything to do. So we're going to warm my jars. So I filled them half full with uh, war uh, hot water, and I filled my canner to the fill line with hot water. So the next thing I'm going to do is just set these jars down there. I think the water in them is just to weight them down. Now you can put eight pints in here if they're regular mouth pints. So I've set the timer, the pressure canning part to 75 minutes. It says insert jars. I've inserted the jars. Now I'm going to put my lid on. I do not have the pressure regulator on it. The good thing about this is you don't have to worry about when it reaches 10 pounds. It does it itself or whatever you need to reach at your elevation. So I'm gonna put the lid on here. I've locked that. This is the temperature arm sensor and I've locked that. I've inserted my jars. I'm gonna press the reset button. I'm trying to do this fast and easy because I've showed on previous videos how to work this canner. So it, now it's on warm. 
and when it uh, gets warm enough, I believe it beeps. And so this is the time I take my washed beans and I put them in a pot and I boil them for about 20, 30 minutes. So if I didn't say it, if you have a different canner than what I have, you go by the directions of your instructions for your canner. I'm just trying to learn and teach a little bit about this canner. It is wonderful. When you boil your beans before you put them in the jars, sometimes you'll see a foam form on the top of the beans. They are fine. You can skim it off or they'll come off in the final rinse. Y'all, when I'm canning or doing something like this, a lot of times Sweet Hunter will be in the living room uh, watching TV. I use my AirPods. <clears throat> took me a long time to get used to them. Uh, but my little eight-year-old grandson told me I had them in wrong. They kept cutting off. So let's see if I can remember. Yeah. So uh, I put these in and I listened to a podcast. If you've never listened to Grove Moments, a very motivating spiritual podcast that I love. She's a good friend of mine. And if you want a good spiritual podcast to listen to, she's great. Other than that, I listen to Crime Watch and um, crime junkie i love crime stuff i'm crazy i listen to a lot of homesteading stuff too i listen to things about farms and chickens and animals and uh, by the way i, I told uh, little huddy that we're getting chickens pretty soon and some rabbits and he is over the moon he's so excited Dinner has beeped i've got water uh heating up to uh, put in the beans and the beans are ready unlock the sensor arm i'm going to remove the lid it says to fill jars so now's the time to do that pinto beans are a staple in our house i love to make pinto beans and just have a pan of cornbread big old bowl of beans oh it's so good but there's so many things you can make you can make tostadas you can make bean quesadillas bean enchiladas bean burritos you can make bean soup oh i love to mix a bunch of dry beans and have bean soup it's so delicious remember laura ingles wilder here's a quote from her from the long winter there's nothing like good hot bean soup on a cold day said her pa so as you can see i just added the uh hot water to the uh beans so far i've added the hydrated beans i've added the hot water up to an inch of the top of the jar i'm putting the lids on and we're ready to can time to put the lid on i'm going to lock the lid i'm going to put the arm the temperature arm sensor down and lock it it's told me to fill the jar jars the jars are warm um, and I've got them filled with the beans, so I'm going to press select. Now it's going to heat up, and the next thing it'll do is vent. Same thing on your canner if you have a stove top. You just have to watch the, uh, you have to set a timer for the 10 minutes. I don't. It will beep and let me know when that's up. So I'm going to finish my lunch, and then I'm going to clean my kitchen. Do y'all eat standing up? I've always done it since my kids were little. I'm always busy, and I'm thankful I can do it. And I'm just thankful I can do it. Okay, you can hear the, the beeping. The digital electric canner is telling me to put the regulator on. So I'm going to use a pot holder because this is very hot, and I'm just going to snap it on. You put it in the can position. It will come up to pressure, and then... Uh, it will start the canning process, which is 75 minutes for a pint. Remember, if you have a different canner, go by your instruction book with your canner. The canner is done. It's cooled down. It says done. I'm going to remove the lock on the temperature arm. And I am going to remove the lid. And I'm going to get my jars out. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. You can put salt in these before you pressure can them. That is fine. I choose not to. I do all my seasoning when I cook them. Eight pints of pinto beans. 
Just a few more things about pinto beans. Uh, they're a great source of protein. Look, you can see them boiling still in the jars. I think that's cool. Uh, I make an eight-layer dip, bean dip, that is delicious. I make nachos with these beans. I make taco salads. I freeze burritos. I make chili cheese fries. And chili is probably my number one thing I love to do. I love to open a can of pinto beans and have chili just real quickly. Um, after 24 hours, I take the rings off of these jars and play, after they've cooled and I place them in my pantry. And we've got fast food in a jar. Y'all go cook something.